What's going on people, it's your boy Bros Tops in this bitch, you already know, you already know. This came in the post today, now I've got to say I've already seen this movie, I saw it a few days ago. Now I wish I saw it earlier on, because had I seen it, you know what would have happened? There would never have been a review on this 4K Blu-ray, do you want to know why? Because this movie sucks balls, and not in the good way. So obviously you've got the 4K disc, you've got the Blu-ray disc, you've got the digital code in this bitch. High dynamic range. Turn this bitch around. 4K Ultra HD. Okay, four times the resolution. Four times sharper than HD. But here's the thing. It's actually maybe four times sharper than 720p. It ain't four times sharper than 1080p in this bitch. They don't tell you that shit. High dynamic range, no shit. Wider color spectrum, okay. Immersive audio. Okay, let's have a look at these Blu-ray extra features. Assassin's Creed in high definition? Does that really need to be said? That's like saying, you ordered a Big Mac meal, guess what? With that Big Mac meal, comes a Big Mac in this bitch. Taking the pledge, behind the scenes of Assassin's Creed, five part documentary, great. Conversations with Justin Kurzel, fine. Deleted scenes, wait, they're adding deleted scenes of the previous conversation with Justin Kurzel? I don't even know what to say. Open this up. There we go. Guess what? Exactly the same as the slipcase. No shit. Have you ever guys had this? Blu-ray, this bit always sticks on there. I don't understand why. You always get the residue on the spine. You see that shit? Now, if that wasn't enough, I got this bitch right here. God damn. So here it is, people. Check this out. Assassin's Creed. Open this. Right, okay, so we got this bitch, and we got the digital code in this bitch. Even the artwork on this bitch looks decent. Can't knock the artwork. And then you got the bog standard Blu-ray copy. Well, people, there we have it. Review coming shortly, goddammit. Don't expect a great review of the movie itself, but yeah, the transfer might be something. It's 20th Century Fox, so that shit could be hit and miss like a mofo. I guess we're gonna have to stay tuned, wait and see. God damn, this is gonna be a busy week. I got both Fast and Furious movies coming. I got Planet Earth 2 coming. I got Fantastic Beasts coming. I got Patriot's Day coming. This shit gonna be busy as hell. You know, I normally just add this into the whole review, but I thought I'd just do things a little differently. Switch it up every once in a while, in any case. But I will watch this and I will let you know how it goes. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you guys soon.